The streets of Hiroshima were lined with thousands of people, for this was special and a long time in the making. The terrible wound suffered here was so deep and painful, it has taken the passing of 70 years for it to heal sufficiently to allow the leader of the country that inflicted it to come and pay his respects. The ceremony was dignified with a stature befitting such a solemn occasion. But it was the personal moments that spoke volumes. Two atomic bomb survivors got to welcome the US Commander-in-Chief to Hiroshima. A handshake and a chat with the first was followed by an embrace with the second. Catharsis through mutual warmth and respect. This visit is an extremely difficult balancing act. On behalf of the United States, Mr. Obama is expressing sorrow over what happened here, but he can't say that America is sorry for making it happen. When he spoke at the memorial site, he quickly acknowledged the 100,000 people killed by the bomb. Their souls speak to us. They ask us to look inward, to take stock of who we are and what we might become. Yoshiko Kajimoto hopes no one else ever has to clap eyes on the horrors that she did that August morning. The radiation killed her father and left her mother infirm. She was 14 and had to raise three brothers on her own. But, she said, Japan did terrible things as well and was not only a victim but an offender. It's for that reason that today an apology was neither offered nor sought. Instead, Japan and America have managed to get around the impediments to a reconciliation that's been a long time coming. John Irvine, ITV News, Hiroshima.